Hi, it's Matt Kramer here with Kramer Power Electronics, and today's video is about troubleshooting overcharging problems on alternators that have an external regulator. If your battery voltage is going way too high, before you go to KramerPower.com and order yourself a new American-made adjustable voltage regulator, you first might want to check if your voltage regulator is in fact the problem. So the first test you can do is just pull the plug on the voltage regulator, start the engine, and see if you've still got an overcharging problem. If you do, there's a short somewhere. It could be that the wire to the voltage regulator is shorted to ground. More common problem these days, if you've got a new alternator, is that you've got rebuilders trying to use the same alternator cores for isolated field and grounded field. They may have grounded your field wire permanently in there. So just check those terminals, make sure it's not grounded. While you've got the plug off, you can probe its voltage, make sure it's getting full battery voltage. If you've got a voltage drop between the alternator and the battery, check the ignition switch, check for any bad connections, and just check there. Also, if your ground is bad, the alternator is going to read that as if the voltage that's getting is low and try to pull up the voltage. So you may even need to do something like run a wire from the under, from the voltage regulator to the battery. That can help with grounding. And just check all of those things before you conclude the voltage regulator is the problem. 